Today, we are going to build a catapult. This is the story by Trent and Henry. In our first draft, we decided to make a small simple version of the catapult like this. We created this triangle structure to help the catapult be more stable and a long elastic band to shoot the ball. The further we pull, the larger falls to the bow, and the further the ball can go. We use hot glue to stick all the popsicle stick together. Lucky that our first draft went on pretty well and didn't have to change much. But with this structure, we cannot manage the angle also the velocity of the ball. We decided to put a box under the base and make some holes on it with different angles to change the angle of the base. Now, we finalized our design, it's time to build it. This time, instead of using popsicle sticks, we use wood, which is a much higher grade material, to build catapult. First, we measure the size of every part of the catapult on a big piece of wood that we had, and then we cut the large piece of wood into a smaller pieces. We still use hot glue to stick all the wood together. Yes, hot glue. After that, we use hinges to connect the catapult arm with the base. And then we connect many elastic bands together to make it stronger and more stable. To connect the wood base with the box under it, we use hinges in one side so we still can move the base up and down. So we drill holes in all the connecting parts and use plastic tie wrap to connect all that part together. Our cardboard was around 8 meters far away from the target. We have to measure the distance that we want to shoot and then determine how many force we want to use to pull back the band. The different angle will create different distance. Next time, to improve our cardboard, we can mark some shooting points on our cardboard to determine a more accurate distance when we shoot. My partner is a professionist, so I try my best. 